Hello dear friends. In this session we are going to understand how to connect to MySQL database from Java program. First we will understand how to download and install the MySQL database. Then we will understand how to create a database and how to create a table in that. How to add some record into the table. And then we will understand how to display the record in the MySQL table in Java program from the Java program. So let's start installing the MySQL database. So first you have to download the MySQL database. I am going to download the MySQL database which is a part of XAM server. So I am going to search for the XAM. So once that you will get a link called apigfriends.org from which you can download the XAM server. You have to click on the download option here. So we will redirect it toward the, this apigfriend.org website. From that you have to download the XAM server. So download for 64 bit versions of Windows. You have to click on this option. Once you click on this option, uh, you will download starts. Once the download complete, you have to double click on this file. You have to double click on this file and you have to install the XAM server on this machine. So here MySQL is on XAM server is already installed on this machine. So I'm going to start the XAM server. So I'm directly moving towards the XAM folder. So here on my E drive, a XAM server is installed. So I'm moving towards that folder. I'm going to select the XAM control file. There is a exam control file is there in that folder. Once I double click on this exam control file, so you will get this particular window. From this window, you have to start the Apache service, service and MySQL service. If the service is, is not started yet, you have to click on the start service in front of Apache and in front of MySQL. Now we will be able to use the MySQL database. Now we can use the browser. You can add the URL that is localhost. So this is the default website of XAM server from which you can manage the manage the MySQL database. So here is a MySQL link is there. A MySQL admin link is there. You have to click on this PHP admin link which is there in that website. So you will be able to get the MySQL database. From that for creating a database there is a database option. So you have to click on this database option. Now you can create a new database here. So whatever the database you want to create here you can create. So I am going to create a student DB database student db database I am going to create. So once I specify the name to this, you have to click on the create option. So in which I am going to create a table, a database is created now in which you can create a table. So I am going to create a table called student in which I am going to create uh, three columns. I have to specify how many columns will be there in the table. So I'm specifying here three. It means I want to create a three columns in that. So once I specified, I need to click on this go option. After that, a table definition will appear. In that I'm going to add the column name as rule number whose data type is integer. And I'm going to apply the primary key to this. So I am click on this primary key option. After that, one window will appear to add the index. You just have to click on this go option. Then you have to specify the name to the second column. So I am specifying the name to the second column as a name whose data type is var character and the size is 30. Now I want to create a third column as email whose data type is var character and the size is 40. So after that I have to click on this uh, save option. So once that a table will be created and you will find that column structure in that table. Now we can insert some record into this table using this insert option. So you have to click on this insert option to insert some record into that. 
So here you can insert the value for this roll number and we will insert the value as name, uh, roll, num roll number as 10, name as Amor and the email as amor at the rate gmail.com. Okay. Now I want to insert one more record into that. So for that I am going to add the new record whose roll number is 20, name is Darsh and the email is darsh at gmail.com. Now I have to click on this go option to insert this record into this table. So it displays the message two record is inserted along with that it displays the query which is created for adding the two record into this table. Now we can see the record using this browse option. Once you click on this browse option you will get the list of record which is there in the table. So right just now we have added these two record. Now we have to display these two records from our Java program. So now we can move towards the Java program. So I am going to write a Java program inside the Eclipse. So so in Eclipse you have to create a new project. I am going to create a new project here. A file new Java project and specifying the name to this project as MySQL connection MySQL connection demo is the name of the project that I am going to specify so after that I am going to click on this next option next option I am going to click so after that I am going to click on this finish option no, I am not going to create this module file so I am using this don't create option so after that one project will be added here in that you have to create one class file for writing the java program so i am choosing the class here specifying the name to this class as mysql connection and i am adding the main function in that after adding the main function i am going to click on the finish button so here a class will be added. Now your project is ready. Now in this project uh, you have to add the external jar file to connect to the MySQL database. The jar file contains the classes which are used for connecting to MySQL database. So first you have to download the MySQL connector.jar file from internet and then you have to add this jar file in your project which is responsible for connecting to my MySQL database. So I am moving towards the browser. So here I am going to search for the MySQL connector, MySQL connector.jar. Once that, I will get a link, different link from this website, java2s.com. I am going to download the connector. So you have to click on this connector file. After that, a file will be downloaded on your machine. So here, after the download is complete, you have to select this file. Then you have to extract the file which is there. Extract all. Extract. Then this file will appear in this particular folder. Now this file you have to add in your Eclipse project. Now again I am going to move towards the Eclipse. To add this jar file in Eclipse, you have to right click on your project. Then choose the build path and then select the configure build path option. Uh, a dialog will appear in front of you. From that dialog, you have to choose the libraries option. And inside that, you have to choose this class path option. After that, you have to select the add external jar file. One dialog will appear in front of that. From this dialog, you have to select the connector file which we have downloaded just now. So once you select this MySQL connector.jar file and once you click on the open, a jar file will be added. After that, you have to click on this apply and close option. And once that, a jar file will be added in your project. So you can see where the jar file is added. This is our project MySQL connection demo in which the reference library 
file is added inside this category. So here is the MySQL connector.jar file. Now this project is ready to connect to MySQL database. Now to connect to MySQL database, we have to call some functions which is there in the class. So for that first you have to import the package called java.sql java.sql is a package which is used for connecting to any database from java program so here once you add this package you can create the classes you, you can create the object of the class called connection this is used to establish a connection to database and we have to create one more object of class statement so this is responsible for executing any sql command on database so after that you have to load the driver which is required for connecting to mysql database while loading the driver there may be some error occurred to handle that error i am writing here try catch block and whatever the error will be there i am going to display the information about that error using this by calling this get message function okay now i can write the code to load the driver here to load the driver i need to use this predefined class called class and in which there is a for name function from this for name function i can uh, load the driver which is necessary for connecting to mysql dab database so name of the driver to be load is com.mysql.jdbc Dot driver so this is the driver name you have to specify this driver name here okay after that you can connect the connect connect the mysql database so for that you have to initialize this connection object you have to use the driver manager class driver manager dot git connection function you have to call and to this function you have to specify the url of the database and the username of the database which is root default and the password of the database which is again a uh, blank so url to connect to this mysql database is jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash localhost colon so database is there on this machine and whose port number is 3306 and then you have to specify the name of the database you want to connect so here i am going to specify this url so name of the database that just we have created in mysql is student db so we want to connect to this database whose username is a root the default username of mysql database is root and the default password is blank now you can fire the sql command on this database using this statement class first you have to initialize this statement object like this by calling the create a statement function and once that you will able to execute some command on database to execute some command on database there is a function called execute query if you want to execute the select query you have to call this execute query function then you can specify the sql command to select the record so we have created a table called student in that so whatever the record which is there in student table will be selected this function will return the record which is selected from this table we can store this record in result set object so i am going to create the result set object here now i can traverse this result set object to display all the record in that table to traverse the result set object i can call the next function which is there in this result set class so this loop will travel up to the last record in the uh, stood table now i can display the record from this table on screen for getting the value of first column from this student table i can call the getter integer function if the column type of the student table is integer 
I have to call the get integer function and then you have to specify the name of the column of which you want to retrieve the value then you can concatenate the second column value like this the type of the second column is string so I am calling here get a string function and specifying the name of the column as name so this is the column name that I have specified in this fruit table now I want to retrieve the value of third column so I am concatenating slash t with that and for retrieving the value of third column I am again calling the get a string function because the third column type is also a string or text so here I am specifying the name of the third column now this simple statement will retrieve the columns values in the student table now we will test for this program whether this program displays the output or not we can see so I am going to run this program so here is the output of this program after the successful execution of the program it will display the record which is there in the student table student table in this way we can connect to the mysql database from your java program we can fire the queries on sql mysql database we can get the result written by this query and we can traverse the result written by this query using such do and we can get the column values using such functions for getting the column value of integer column you have to use the get integer function for getting the column value of text column you have to get, use the function get a string so in this way we can display the record which is there in the mysql database i hope you understand thank you